Hello, Richard Matthews here, and in this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Beaver Builder and the Power Pack add-ons to create two-step opt-ins that deliver things automatically with ActiveCampaign using ActiveCampaign's tagging system. So what I want to do is show you a couple of examples of where you might use these. The first one here is just a simple landing page you might promote on Facebook or Google AdWords for a downloadable opt-in, um, like a downloadable uh, product or uh, guide or something like that. So on here I actually have a product creation template that I use um, and I give to my clients and when someone clicks the download now button we have a pop-up. Um, the pop-up has the email address where someone can download now. Now this page is built in Beaver Builder and the pop-up is done with the Power Pack add-ons and just the standard subscribe module in Beaver Builder. So that's one way you might use it. Um, and another way you might use this is this is actually um, at the end of a blog post talking about the same um, the same kind of stuff. Um, if I promote the blog post via retargeting ads or something like that, I have a content upgrade at the end, which is actually the same download where someone can click on here and have the pop-up here. So it's actually the same exact pop-up, so we don't have to do the same work twice. Um, and I'll show you how you can do that. So you'll need a couple of things. The first one is you will need um, the Beaver add-ons. This is uh, wpbeaveraddons.com, and they have a modal box pop-up module. Um, that allows for two-step pop-ups and the ability to use saved rows and saved templates um, as the content inside of the pop-up. So, you know, when you click on them, you can actually have rows and stuff inside of them. Um, it looks like Beaver Builder may have a opening light box um, as a feature coming in the future in version 1.9. It's not out yet, so we'll see how that works when it comes out. But for now, the Beaver add-ons power pack works great for doing this um, this kind of template, this kind of uh, two-step opt-in. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we actually have to create the template. So in your templates thing, you just come in and create a new template. I've actually opened the template already. I've got it, um, it's just the name of my little download um, and the landing page opt-in box is the name of it. Looks like this. And it is just a full width row um, that goes all the way across. I have a cool little icon, headline, subheadline, and the subscribe form module. And then the little thing that says, I promise not to spam you. Um, and that's just a uh, head heading as well. Um, so the magic is going to happen inside here. Um, and this is where you have to connect your subscribe form to Active Campaign. And I'm not going to go ahead and in this video show you how to connect Active Campaign. But what I want to do, I want to show you is how you can create um, the automation in Active Campaign that keys off of a tag. Um, and you'll notice that we don't actually have a way to put a tag on this form so we can't kick off the automation. So I'll show you how to do that and we'll come back and we'll make some adjustments to these settings here that will let us start the automation. So I'm going to leave this tab here and come into the active campaign dashboard. So you'll see this is the automation um, that I have that delivers the, um, the little guide that I have. So I've got the email delivery um, on that. And it's just kicked off with the tag OFS mind map requested. That's the tag. Um, so in order to get this automation to kick off, someone needs to subscribe to my list and then have that tag added and it'll get the um, mind map delivered to them. So if we come over here again, you notice there's no way to tag them on here. So we actually have to do that work in active campaign. So we'll come over to active campaign and you do that with their form settings. So I'm going to go into forms. And you see we have forms all over the place on here. Um, and we're going to create a new form. We're going to call it OFS mind map. And that's just the name of the form we're going to use. And we have some actions we can add. So the actions we want to add on this one is we want to subscribe to list, master broadcast list. And we want to add a second action that says add a tag OFS mind map requested. So that's the tag. So we have this form is going to take two, um, basically it's going to take two actions. It's going to subscribe them to my list and it's going to tag them for the requested um, download, which will kick off my automation. So we'll go ahead and create that form. And that's all we have to do here. We have the form created and um, it has, you know, subscribe for email updates. I'm going to go ahead and just remove the headline and the subheadline um, and all these things and just um, double check that we have the options on here. 
on the options we have on submit show thank you thanks for signing up form action we have a broadcast list mind map requested i actually have a page i want to send them to so i'm going to come back over to my dashboard here and grab the page i want to send them to when they're done and the page that i'm looking to send them to is this mind map delivered page which has a video tutorial on it and some other um, cool information so i'm going to copy the url you can see i have that video tutorial here and we're just going to come back over in here and on our um, thing we want to open a url and paste in the ofs mind map delivered so now we have on submit they're going to get sent to my thank you page and the actions they're going to be added to the list and have the tag added um, and that's all we have to do so now i'm going to go ahead and hit the integrate button which will save our form and I don't need to do anything with this. Just hit save and exit because Beaver Builder is already um, attached. So we can come back over to our landing page here. And I'm going to save this and reload the page and go back into Page Builder, which should refresh our options inside of our active campaign thing there. So we'll click the gear. And now instead of being a type list, we're going to say type form and choose OFS mind map, which is the new mind map we just started and hit save. And now we have this template, this row template that we've created will submit into active campaign. It's going to drop someone onto our new thank you page and it's going to tag them with the um, tag that will kick off the automation in active campaign. So um, we'll publish that. And if we take a look at what's gonna happen over here, they're gonna get tagged and OFS mind map requested. They're going to get an email delivery. And then I just have it waiting for a few days because I haven't decided what else I want to stick in here, but that'll allow me to uh, add more things in the future the next 10 days or so in case I want to add more steps on this. But anyways, that's all this automation does. It just delivers the one email for them and um, the form make sure they get, they get landed on the landing page. So now all we have to do to integrate that into the um, actual landing page. So we come back to the landing page open the page builder here and on this landing page you can see this is just a modal box um, and the modal box for power pack is under here and they have one called modal box so you just drop the modal box on and i'll show you what the uh, settings are on here to do that it's fairly simple i just come in and i tell them i want a standard layout 700 pixels leave everything else on auto i turn the title to no because that um that get, gets rid of the little bar that's at the top of the modal box. And then you set select type, saved template, and select template um, that you use is the, um, the landing page that we just created, the saved row. Um, and I have the OFS landing page opt-in box there. And that's basically it on the settings. The only other thing that I set on here is um, I want the trigger to be on click, which allows me to select an image and I have that download now button. Um, everything else I leave default with the exception of the uh, modal style. I come in here on the modal style and I changed the close button, which is this little X here to match the color scheme of my site and landing page. So it matches the download button and everything else. That's all I've done. Um, so we save that. And now we have a pop-up box on this page that allows us to um, open up and submit the, uh, the form. Now, it's a little bit different if you want to embed that layout into a blog post. So in the blog post, you notice I have it as a link, right? If you click on this, it opens up that same thing. This is done um, using the modal box's other um, action call. So if we come in here and you look at the very bottom of the blog post, I have just a big text editor with all the stuff in it. And then below that, I have the modal box. It says click here to edit modal box settings. This text is only for editing and will not appear after you publish your pages. So if I click on this one, this one is the same modal box. I've got all the same settings on it. It's using the saved template OFS LAN LP opt-in box. The only difference is on here, I have the trigger set to other. And other means it doesn't have a button. It's not automatic. It's not X and intent. It's only going to happen when someone clicks on something that has this CSS class attached. So we copy that CSS class like that um, and save our little box. And then in your text, anywhere you want to use this on this page, um, we can go down and I'm going to click over to the text portion here and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you can see I have that link. It's an ahref 
and the href is just for um, a, well, I can't remember what that's called, a number symbol, and class equals that modal box class, and you can see those match. So F7, whatever that is, F7, whatever the numbers are there, those match. So whenever someone clicks on that link, it'll open up that hidden modal box, and we have everything functioning. Okay, so what I want to do now is show you how this actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in a test email here and show you. So we're going to call this video test one at Inlight Online. That's just a test email I have to test this out. Go ahead and hit download now and what should happen. So we get taken to the landing page, which is perfect. So we got taken to the landing page. And now if we go back into Active Campaign and search for that email address, what we should see is that we're going to click on contacts here, type in video test, and here's our contact that we just got sent over. You'll see a couple of things have happened. First, we have the OFS mind map requested has been added. The in campaign tag and welcome tag have been added from a different campaign I have running. I welcome all new subscribers to my email list, and they're on our broadcast list and you can see they went through two automations. They went through my deliver OFS mind map, one that we just set up, and I have a welcome campaign that I send people to as well. So they got um, added to that one. And you can see they entered that automation and they were sent the campaign deliver OFS mind map. If we actually click on it, you can see the email that I sent them, right? So I sent the test email. Um, it went to their inbox. And what I'm going to go do and see if I can pull it up in the inbox and see that it actually worked all the way through. See over here I just put in the email in my search box here and the email has been delivered looks just like it did on active campaign so that is basically everything there is to it. Now there is one last little thing I want to bring up and show you and that is just in case you want to have opt-in confirmation like you want to have the two-step opt-in. I'm going to go back to this form real quick that OFS mind map form and click on options and there is a settings button here opt-in options you want to hit this and you have opt-in confirmation that you can turn on or off, right? Um, it'll default to being on, which is going to send an opt-in email, and you'll want to make sure you put the thank you page in here as the confirmation action. So um, if you want to have opt-in confirmation, I just want to double check that you uh, know to check this little thing here, um, which is the settings thing, and that will let you, um, all of these steps will basically let you have two-step opt-ins on your website um, that key off automations and active campaign with tags. So I hope that was helpful to someone. Let me know if you have any questions.